So before the video starts, I just want to give a brief message. Um, suicide is everywhere. It's all over the world, not just in this one area. Um, it's a serious thing. We're not here uh, goofing around looking for dead bodies pretty much. We're here to experience it, document it, and just give history on this place because it is a serious matter. Thank you. Just getting off the bus, everyone's giving us like weird looks, like saying don't go in there and stuff. <sighs> Welcome everybody. You already know, I've been pushing to the, through the limits, going to all these crazy places around the world. And right here, we're in one of the most well-known talked about places for people who commit suicide. It's right here in Japan, the Akikahara Forest, also known as the Sea Trees, also known as Suicide Forest. Many Japanese people believe that this forest has a, like, an association with angry ghosts. There's been bodies being reported here since 1978. There's been bodies being reported every year from 1978 to 1988. About 30 bodies or so. But in 2003, it's been rising up. They've been finding more bodies every year being reported here, over 105. And it kept rising over the years. To the point where by 2010, they were finding over 200 bodies every year here. By 2013, they stopped reporting all the bodies. They want no one to come here anymore, really. They look down upon this place. Many Japanese people who are locals will not come or show their face near here. Mostly just tourists going to find the caves. There's a wind cave, the ice cave, and there's a couple more. And then there's Mount Fuji itself, which is located right here. I mean, it's, it's honestly um, a sad place to be. I want to go explore as much as I can here. By the way, it's raining, so hopefully we don't get soaked. Let's do this. All right, so here's the way we have to go. Beyond this way is where anything can happen, honestly. So that's where the no entry was. We just crossed it now. Um, at any point in time, we're just going to pull off and turn to where we think um, something may actually be. It could be people's items, um, tents, lost shoes. Anything could be here. Now, a little bit of uh, information. If you see a tent here, if we find one, that means they're either contemplating on killing themselves or they've already done it. If we see ribbons stuck on trees, it means they're going inside and they don't want to get lost, so they tie a ribbon to their tree, hoping they can backtrack and get out. Look at this, they don't even maintain this. Trees are falling down all over here. I had a long rope to a tree up ahead. No and I also way. found a couple of oh my God. cans down in the cave. Wait. Okay, here's, here's what we found. Oh, you think he's going lay up there. Let's follow it. What's over here? We don't know, we found a, oh. uh, a ribbon or some sort. Okay, right here. Some kind of now we found a, a pink ribbon. It's going far down. Jeez. No, I think they. I think they set it up to get their way back if they decided not to. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. If you get lost, you're supposed to tie ribbons and stuff here. These guys will just left a giant rope. All right, it ends right here. Oh no! Oh my God! It's, it keeps going. Hey, look at this. What? Oh, someone left an umbrella. Holy sh! All right, just an umbrella. Yeah, but. See, it's, it could be honestly more. It could have been like someone who was like, screw it, this is it. I, even, I want to use an umbrella right now because I'm soaked, but I don't want to use, that, use one. that one. You know what? You want to go down there more and then follow the track just in case they might have went down there? It's thick through here, but we're just going to see if we can find anything. Okay, it kind of works. The, the compass is working right now? Yeah, the compass still works. Okay, good. The direction is north. All right, we're using a compass to get our way out. Right now, we, we lost all signal on our phones and everything. What's so cool about it? Yeah, what's weird about it is just, it's like all these underground random ass tunnels are all over the place. We're coming across some stuff now. We got some ribbons tied to the trees. We got a green one right there and a blue one. Let's make sure there's like, if, if there's anyone in there, let's make sure they're okay. Oh yeah, their campsite. We're gonna go check out the campsite right now. It's the same ribbon that we found from the, the, from the pathway led all the way in here to the campsite. This place is no joke. I'm already feeling like so weird here. Like I'm getting these airy dark vibes. Like I can like, chills. yeah, like I can, ooh. Like I can feel it inside me. It's like unexplainable. I can't really explain it, but it's no joke. What happened? What must have happened was like the guy, whoever it was with the ribbon must have just been pacing himself around just thinking if he actually wanted to do it or not. But here's all I found. Left at least. Maybe he drew that before he did it. A bottle, of course. I don't know how recent this was. No one knows. 
Jesus Christ, dude. That might have been the last thing someone had. Yeah, this could have been. Their umbrella's right there, their drink. But it looks like a children's umbrella, this one. Alright, so I'm just here documenting my experience about being here and looking to see what I can find. I'm just very curious. So, so far since I've been here, I've already been hearing like these faint voices coming from like the far out area, like a girl. But I can't make out what they're saying. It's like, I would say it's a whisper, but it's like a shout at the same time. Um, I'm not very big on spirits. I, don't, I really don't think about it or um, really get scared. I'm not saying I'm scared, but I really am sensing a very dark, like I'm not even sensing it. I'm just feeling just different. We found something. It looks like a freaking alien species. What the hell? We've been slipping and falling this whole time since we've been walking through here. I already hit my shin a couple times. I think I'm bleeding. Just so slippery. We found new ribs, we've been following it. And we're coming across what we think is another campsite. Let's go. Ugh. Yeah, here's another here's another campsite we just found following that white ribbon. Um looks uh, honestly like fresh still. Although there must have been a fire going on right here. But what's weird too is this. The only uh, the only pink tree that we've seen here, just in the middle of nowhere. An interesting fact is one time a year during the holiday season, Japan people get together and volunteer to come to the forest and pretty much just sweep the whole uh, area and look for bodies. Wow, this umbrella is very old. Look how, look how it looks, it's like dark green, things completely rusted. Okay, this is our first tent we just found. Look at this. Yeah, the whole tent has been dismantled. It's probably been sitting here for a very long time. Unbelievable. Whoa. Their hat is here too. Um, what else is here? Jeez. Tripped a little bit. It happens here. It's slippery as hell. Um, it's not that bad. There's two tents here, and they're still they're still there. They're still there. Okay, let's check this out. What is all that? Had a campfire here. Yeah, there's no one. There's no one here anymore. They're either, they either been um found, or they turned back, or they're still in the forest, just um around. We just found this shoe. Now this shoe had been here for well over five, six years. This moss completely growing on the shoe. It looked like it morphed onto it. Whoa, dude, 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 a backpack. This backpack's brand new. I know. Hmm. I think that's an umbrella over there. We've been finding tons of umbrellas, tents, um, pretty much everything you would actually expect to find here. The backpack looks brand new, but also this umbrella right next to it looks brand new too. Which means, I don't know, I'm just going to start searching the area around this premises. 
they're checking around this area. I'm looking around this area and Shane's actually around that area. The rain's starting to pick up again. Um, so we searched the area for about 10, 15 minutes. We found nothing except the umbrella in that backpack. Who knows where, what happened or, I don't know. I just want to talk more about the dangers of just walking through here, not even of the superstition and rumors that go on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's holes everywhere. Shane already fell in. I already fell. Um, he just fell right there. It is horrible here. You can get really hurt twisting your ankle. You're going to slip and fall on a rock here. I mean, it is dangerous here. You're just, you're just walking on trees. You're just literally, there is no, let's like half the thing ain't even land. It's just tree roots you're walking on. And what happened is all the roots just build up with leaves after all these years of them falling down that you're just walking on leaves, but they could be loose and you're just going to sink your foot right in. Look at our viewer getting now. The rain has stopped, the fog's all out, but it's actually making this forest look actually really beautiful and enchanted. Nobody really walks in here as it is. So it's been around six hours since we've been in here. It turns out our last bus leaves in 30 minutes. So we couldn't explore till dark, but we've been here all day. My legs are hurting. We've all tripped and fell. I've been hurt. Henry's been hurt. Everyone's sore. We're soaking wet. It's been, it's been a, a, an insane time. It's been an insane day for sure. It's an unreal ex experience. The airy feeling I was um, getting in my chest was just all negativity, uh, even all around me. It was, it's unexplainable. Um, we found backpacks, clothes, tents, tents still pitched. Most likely, I, I, uh, I've been told just a few minutes ago, um, actually, I've been told by the internet that it's, it's because uh, patrol people come by and they pick up the bodies. So they just, um, I guess it's been recent, so they haven't undone the tent or stuff, or it just, we just haven't found the people yet. We just see the tent still there, which is pretty insane, um, if that's really true. But overall, I mean, I'm never gonna forget being here because it, it is a, a very um, unique, unexplained area. I mean, the, I've never the, felt anything like it before. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's even, so silent. Like you can't hear anything. There's no echoes. It really is. Um, it really is something different. I mean, the terrain is just ridiculous. It's just we're walking on roots and trees. There's no ground. It's. It's, I can't, the I sea never, of trees. yes, literally, the sea of trees. Name. All right, peace. Later, guys. Thanks for watching.